All right, YouTube, this Detroit's HPTV coming to you out of Detroit. I'm going to say something. This is not going to be very popular. In New York and Chicago, it seems like they're using black men, I mean, black males, to be the face of the weakness within the community. Mayor Adams in New York refuses to stand up for the Constitution, the rights of the citizens, and he keeps coming out in front of the people with excuses. Mayor Johnson in Chicago having panic attacks over an immigrant crisis, and he's the mayor. You know, these are not our brightest, and these are not our finest. These two are tools of the oppressor. That's why you see them having the problems they have in the two major big cities. New York and Chicago is being overran by these immigrants at the expense of black people. And we will not acknowledge that they don't represent us as men. It seems like they bought and paid for by the Democratic Party. And won't nobody call them on that. They're nothing like a Malcolm X. Nothing like a Martin Luther King. Nothing like anything strong that ever came from our community. These two men have become the epitome of weakness. Even that DA that's, that's black refused to arrest them immigrants. What are they scared of? They, they've been black in this country their whole lives. And now they don't act like they know what the struggle is. They come out making all these excuses why they fail their duties and fail their constituents. Black people voted them into office. And they turned their back on black people to be close to the Democratic Party. And won't nobody call them on that. People keep acting as if they represent Black people, no, they don't. They represent the Democratic Party. They represent the migrants. They represent everything that's going wrong in our communities at this point. And won't nobody say nothing to call them, call them out on it. Look at this. Look at this. This is fair usage under the 1976 Copyright Act. Look at these guys, man. Of attacking New York City police officers last week over by Times Square. Remember this? Well, I sources tell Fox News that several of those people in these images have been apprehended, apparently in Phoenix. Unbelievable. Plus, another group of migrants have been arrested for allegedly dragging a woman down a New York City street as they stole her purse. Madeline Rivera joins us right now with the latest developments. Uh, update us, won't you? Hey, good morning, Brian, Steve, Lawrence, and Ainsley. So I, a lot of things going on, but I do want to begin with the suspects who are arrested in Phoenix. There are still some details we're waiting for, like the identities of the suspects and which migrants were arrested. But Immigration and Customs Enforcement sources tell Fox they're suspected of being involved in this beating of two NYPD officers in Times Square. Remember, six suspects were arrested and charged, but only one was held on cash bail. Police sources had told us some of the five who were released left New York to head to, to, to the California-Mexico border, rather. Now it appears, based on what multiple ICE sources are telling us, that at least some of their journeys were cut short, with some suspects being arrested at a Greyhound bus station in Phoenix Monday. Here's New York City Mayor Eric Adams. While these five individuals were uh, migrants, I want to reiterate uh, the overwhelming number of 170 plus thousand migrants and asylum seekers are uh, attempting to continue their next leg of their journey of pursuing the American dream. Did you hear those numbers? This guy has never assisted in black people pursuing the American dream. His character and the content of his character is the absolute worst of us. Black people, majority, the majority of black people voted him in the office as a black man in New York. And his whole thing is a preoccupation with immigrants and torn the line for the Democratic Party as he sell his own people out. 
How will history remember him? He should not be remembered like a Malcolm X or Martin Luther King or anybody that we would say we're proud of. He is a great disappointment and it's sad. And, and people need to speak on that and say that. PD separately also arresting seven migrants in an early morning raid in the Bronx Monday, whom officers say were behind a robbery ring in the city. Investigators say the suspects would ride up behind victims on stolen mopeds, mostly women walking alone, and snatch their phones and purses. The NYPD telling Fox New Yorkers and tourists must stay vigilant. A wave of migrant crime has washed over our city. They're essentially ghost criminals. No criminal history. No photos, no cell phone, no social media. Sometimes we're even unclear on a name or a date of birth. And on top of that, these operations are extremely sophisticated. They intentionally try to evade the police. Going back to the assault of the two NYPD officers, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg is expected to present evidence to a grand jury today. Steve Ryan, Lawrence, and Ainsley. Right. What happens? Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, Thank thanks, Marilyn. It's amazing how interested yeah. he is right now. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hey, let me play some evidence there because he got out. They got out with no bail. Uh, only one guy was detained, and uh, no no look into their criminal background, and they're allowed to go. So they said, Hey, wait a second. Why don't I hop on a bus? <laughs> But they were spotted and recognized, and it's so easy, you would figure, to track a Greyhound bus. Because Greyhound could track the bus, we could track the bus. Right. So they figured out a way to track them down, and then... If me or another black man did what those immigrants did, they would throw us under the jail. We wouldn't have a bond. Plus, they'd have kicked us, they'd have kicked us in our butt on the, on the way, if we ever tried that. And they come before us as if they haven't already sold us out. It's time out. Call a spade a spade. You know what I mean? Say what it is. Stop upholding them as black mayors, man. They are the worst mayors we've ever seen. They're not a Coleman Young or a Harold Washington. These guys is despicable and they weak. They're very weak. And they're showing their weakness to the world. They're the face of this problem. Why they complain and blame Governor Abbott down in Texas. Arrest them, but ICE is kept from them. So uh, in New York, but not in Phoenix. Yeah, I, I, apparently they used phony names. Uh, but the, the uh, church charity that carted them to Phoenix uh, apparently accepted. And they got you phony know, IDs, too. Yeah, as you look, as you look at uh, those guys who were being held there, you know, Chicago's having a big problem as well. And you were just out just there taking a look there. at it. So yesterday, the new mayor, uh, who's been in, in the office since uh, May of last year, remember, he replaced Lord Lightfoot as mayor of Chicago. Uh, he was supposed to go down to the border and see for his own, for himself in October, but he canceled and he sent a deputy mayor. Well, he was asked yesterday by, by another reporter, hey, when are you going to go? And listen to what he had to say to that reporter about why the mayor is not going. He's got a really good reason. Listen. Do you understand that you have not had a mayor like me? I get that. I have a wife. I have children. They have schedules. And plus, we still have public safety that we have to address. We still have the unhoused that we have to address. I still have a budget that I have to address. And I'm doing all of that with a black wife raising three black children on the west side of the city of Chicago. I am going to the border as soon as... You hear this Negro try to use the race card as if he's not the mayor? As if he's powerless to do something in his own city? Listen to him. But I got to coordinate that with running the government and making sure that my wife and children are secure as well. Thank you, Lord. So what about the single black mothers that live in Chicago <laughs> that you caused a crime to go up because you wanted to fund the police? That you support the broken education system because you support the teachers unions and not the kids? He tried to use his race as a shield in that segment, but the problem still exists and they're affecting everyone. And they don't have, some of those kids don't have dads in their life um, to deal with those issues. Mom's holding down two jobs. Exactly. Look, Can't afford I mean, daycare. We all have kids. We all have busy schedules. Yeah. But if you're going to run for mayor, you got to do the job. I mean, I'm sorry he's doing all that. We're all balancing a lot. I mean, right. we all get yeah, up at 3.30 like in the morning. We have quit. kids. <laughs> I'm a single mom. Yeah. Yeah. What does you know, race have to do with it? I don't Zero. Know.
Zero, it was to disarm the reporter, and as you can see, it worked because they backed off. But the bottom line is just got back from Chicago. They're in a world of trouble. Black yeah. residents are outraged with this mayor. And as you heard from the 91-year-old oh. um, lady that I interviewed there, she doesn't think he's cut for the job. You yeah. know, the Jewish community is mad at him, too. I was just reading this article. Uh, it says that... Jewish United Fund denounces Mayor Johnson's tie-breaking vote for council ceasefire resolution. Apparently, some of Chicago's Jewish leaders took out a full-page ad in Sunday's newspaper strongly denouncing how he's handled the Gaza ceasefire right. resolution. Well, you know, here, here's the problem for the people of Chicago. He's going to have three kids for years. So it's like every time he doesn't do something, he's got a built-in excuse. <laughs> Sorry, I have I kids. got three kids. <laughs> Sorry. I've heard a lot of excuses from politicians, but that tops it right there. It was so what easy. would happen if we We're had a business? I can't go. You have kids? You have grandkids? You I still got three kids. Well, de Blasio had it easy because he knew where his kids were. They were protesting yeah, against exactly. him and against the cops. <laughs> so they would always be at the riot. Exactly right. So I know where the kids are, honey. Just go find the latest riot. Well, he his city. wife, too, so she, he knew where she was. Oh, and her thrive. That's exactly yeah, right. It cost $4 billion. <laughs> Business. Right, and now they're living apart to, <laughs> together. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe. <clears throat> I mean, y'all not going to say it. You know, y'all not really going to say it. That they trying to play the race card while they being weak, while they beholding to Biden at the expense of our communities. Did you see how those immigrants dragging women by their purses, stealing and doing everything under the sun. And they act like their hands is tied behind their back. How, how come y'all not going to call them out and say what it is? And say they weak and they spineless and they've been bought and paid for? I said, Santa to you out Detroit. Keep y'all head on swivel. Peace.